Hi, and welcome everybody to today's webinar. Our topic today is Sugar Professional versus Sugar Community Edition, or short C, which is brought to you by Sugar Sierra in collaboration with our UK gold partner, Enable IT. Um, short introduction to myself. My name is Evie. I'm with Sugar Sierra. I'm responsible for marketing, and I will moderate today's session. But to start with, I would also like to introduce our main speaker for today, and I'm happy to have with me Mikey from Enable IT. Hi, Mike. Hi, Evie. He will tell us today more about the key features of both versions and the common um, reasons for an upgrade from the Community Edition to Sugar Professional. Now, before we start, I would like to give you some functional information about today's webinar. First and foremost, all attendees are muted. So please use the WebEx chat interface on the right bottom of your page if you have a question to the panelists. Uh, of course, we will answer all of your questions at the end or on our Q&A session. Uh, and if, you have to, if we have too many questions, we will, of course, answer them via email. Furthermore, this webinar will be recorded. The recording will be made available on our website, sugarcrm.com slash webcast, where you can find all our upcoming and recorded webcasts, also a lot of from Enable IT. But enough from my side. I am now more than happy to hand over to Mike. Are you ready? I'm absolutely ready. Okay, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this afternoon's webinar. As Evie said, this afternoon's topic is Sugar Professional versus Community Edition. I'm Mike G from Enable IT. I am a consultant and trainer of the Sugar Platform. I've been working with Enable IT now since around about 1999 thereabouts, uh, so the last 14 years. Uh, since that time, I have held a number of roles within the organization, uh, from sales and marketing, from engineering, development, support, and therefore have a number of different approaches that I can use when I'm talking around the Sugar Platform and have a better understanding of how it can be used within an individual organization. The primary differences between the two editions that we're going to be looking at today, Sugar Professional and Sugar Community Edition, come down to a number of fundamental differences. First of all, Sugar Professional is a licensed product. In order to use Sugar Professional, you will need um, to, to purchase licenses um, in order to, to use the product itself. Now, I'm hoping that you can see the screens that I've got on here, because the other one I'm looking at doesn't appear to be changing. Bear with me a second. So if I go to the next screen, hopefully now we're actually going ahead. We've got all my details up there. I said it's Mike G from Enable IT. The main differences, as I mentioned earlier on, between the two editions of Sugar, the Professional and Community Edition, Professional is a licensed product. You'll need to have licenses in order to use the Sugar Professional platform. These are per user licenses, as we'll detail in a second, compared to the Community Edition, which is a completely free open source product, thereby meaning that you can download it free of charge, install it on your own servers, and there are no license fees or software fees to pay for Community Edition. Sugar Professional Edition, as part of the license that you pay for it, is therefore supported by Sugar CRM. If you like, you've got a manufacturer's warranty behind it that they are giving full support from the actual vendor themselves. Compared to Community Edition, which is supported by the open source community. Sugar Professional also has a number of themed user interfaces. It's slightly different with the way that uh, the actual graphics and the interface look compared to the Community Edition, which only has the classic user interface. Sugar Professional also has a lot of additional functionality over the Community Edition. Community Edition has round about 70% of the functionality of the Professional Edition. So a number of the key core modules of Professional aren't available in Community Edition. That said, there are third-party modules available which can give some of the functionality that you find in Professional. But again, because it's a third-party add-on, it's not going to be fully supported by Sugar CRM. If it causes problems to your Sugar instance, then the only comeback you've got is to the vendor of that third-party module that you've added into your Community Edition system. With the licensing, as I said, for SugarCRM, it is a per-user license. It is not a concurrent license. Therefore, if you've got 20 people in your organization that you're wanting to give access into the Sugar instance, you will need to have 20 licenses 
purchased from Sugar CRM or from a Sugar Partner to be able to let those users log into the system. It doesn't matter if only five are going to be logged into the system at any one time, the licenses give the potential for a user to log into the system. Therefore, you have to have equal or greater number of licenses than the number of active people who have the ability to log into your system. Tied in with the annual license fee, you also get the Sugar Office plugins for Microsoft Outlook, Word, and Excel, which are going to let you archive emails, synchronize your calendars and contacts, do mail merges and Excel sheets from uh, Sugar to Office and vice versa. You also will get support directly from Sugar CRM themselves via the case portal and via by email. Again, in the license fee, you also get hosting in Sugar CRM's cloud, and by default, you'll get 15 gigabytes of space for your Sugar instance. So what is the difference between professional and community edition? What really are you actually paying for? Well, the first thing, as I've already mentioned, is the user interface. It is completely different from the community edition. It's far slicker, it's less cluttered, and it's far more streamlined and gives quicker access to a lot of the functionality that you need within the CRM system. Also, one of the major differences with the user interface is on the home screen, where we're looking at the moment, where you can set up multiple tabs containing different dashlets. So you're going to be able to group the types of dashlets within individual screens on multiple home desktops to make the data less cluttered and separated from the actual activities that you need within the particular area. The next difference is that Sugar Professional has a report module. It is a full cross-modular report module. What that means is that any of the data stored anywhere within your Sugar Serum system can be reported and linked in the same reports. With Community Edition, if you're wanting to focus on what data is in the system, you have to go into each relevant module and use either the basic or advanced search to find the records that you want within that particular module. With the reports module in Professional being cross-modular, you can therefore look up data across different connected modules. So for example, you could show the contacts who work at a specific account where they've come from a lead, where the lead was created in the last 30 days. Something which from the community edition is going to be very, very difficult for you to actually pinpoint down very quickly. There are multiple report styles within Professional Edition. The simplest being a standard rows and columns report. This is pretty much like an Excel sheet, spreadsheet. And it is the only report type which can actually be exported out to Excel. On top of that, we have summation reports. These give the option of a chart, so you can get a nice graphic uh, representation of the data itself. Summation with details are similar to summation with the ability that you can drill down into the results that you get in the table below the chart. So if you've got things like account names or contact names, you will be able to actually click onto those items to drill down further to the actual record itself within the CRM system. Matrix reports take those charts one stage further by allowing you to group up to three different subsets of data on the same chart. So for example, you could have a line chart showing minimum, maximum, and average spend across a number of customers within your CRM system. The summation, summation with details, matrix reports, the reports in the system are able to be printed as PDFs as well. So if you're wanting to share those reports with your customers, with members of staff, without giving them access to your actual Sugar CRM system, you can print them out as a PDF file, which is universally accessible, and those files then, they cannot change. So once you put the information in that PDF, they're given something that is set in stone that this is the data that was in the CRM system at the time that report was run. Reports within the professional edition can also be scheduled on a per user basis. Therefore, if there's a report that sales managers need to be running at nine o'clock on a Monday morning, ready for their sales meetings at half past nine, they can schedule the system to automatically run that report in the background email the results of it out to their email address as specified in Sugar at predefined times so that they don't even have to remember to log in to run that report for that particular meeting that they've got. 
There are additional sales enhancements within the professional edition, above and beyond the community edition. For example, we can create PDF quotes from within the CRM system, branded with our company logos, with addresses, set out as we need it to be, which can bring in items from the product catalogue. If you imagine having a sales brochure of all the items, products, services that your company sells or offers, being able to search those at the time you're creating the quote, pick the items from that catalogue and have them immediately appear on the quotes with the list price, cost price, unit price, any discounts that you're wanting to apply straight onto the quote immediately, you can do it with the professional edition. You've also got tied in there forecasting and quotas. So when your sales managers are talking to their salespeople about what opportunities they've got closing in a particular quarter, a particular month of the actual financial year they're working on, they're going to be able to give realistic forecasting based on the opportunities that are closing in that particular time frame. Sales managers can also set quotas for their salespeople and the sugar system is going to give them up to the minute information as to whether those quotas have been met, whether they've been exceeded, if one of their salespeople needs a bit of assistance because they're perhaps struggling to reach the quota for that particular month or quarter. Again, an additional function within the sales enhancements in professional edition is the ability to store contractual information against accounts opportunities within the sugar system. So if you've got annual contracts that you have as part of your products and services, maybe you do support maintenance warranties, you can store those contract information within the CRM system with the start dates, the expiry dates, the value of the contract, who the person is that took that particular support contract out with you. And again, because these are now stored centrally within the CRM system, you're going to be able to report on them and use that data across the entire system. Sugar Professional also includes, as do all the other commercial versions of Sugar CRM, workflow autom automation. This being cause and effect within the CRM system. If a particular event or action happens in the system, do you want automatic processes to happen as a direct result of that? Now, these can either be set as an on-save or a time-elapsed workflow process. The difference being, as the name would suggest, an on-save action occurs when a change of data is actually saved into the database. A time-elapsed is when something has or hasn't changed a certain amount of time after the last change was made, the last time that particular record or file was updated. Once that criteria has been met, the cause has been hit, then the effects can take, take hold. These can be either creating new records elsewhere in the system related to the record that, that fired it off perhaps. It can update existing records with some new data. For example, if you've got a time elapsed one that says, if a particular record hasn't been updated within three weeks, then reassign it, update the assigned to field to a particular user to say, this needs some action doing on because it hasn't been touched for a while. It can also send out alerts via email, purely and simply because those conditions were met either at the time the record was saved or after a lapse of a time period. What this does is allows you to streamline your company processes, makes your people be able to work far more efficiently because they're not going to forget some of your key company processes that you may have in place, either for ISO compliance or purely and simply because these are the work processes that your organization has put in place. Sugar CRM on the professional edition also includes extended security. Building on from the community edition where you have the users that you can actually use and the roles that those users are members of, we now have the ability to group users into teams of users. By putting them into teams, we're then able to restrict which records the members of those teams can actually look at in the same way that on community edition you would assign a record to a specific user. In the professional edition, if you also assign it to a specific team, then any members of that team can also now see that particular record, even if it's not actually assigned to them. The enhanced role functionality that comes on top and builds on the community edition role functionality is that professional edition and all the commercial editions will allow you to take your security down to a field level. So not only are you saying which records they can and can't get in, which records they can and can't edit, you can also define which fields within those records they can either look at 
or change. Now, the key thing to look at here is if they don't have visibility of a particular field, it's not just going to show the field name but hide the data that's stored in there. It won't even let them see that that field exists. So if you've got confidential information that perhaps only the accounts department should be seeing, by setting field level security on it that only members in the accounts role can see that particular field, then every other user in the system who's not in that, sale, that accounts role, sorry, they will just won't see that that field exists. So it's keeping security not only of who can change what, but also on the visibility of who can physically see what data is in our system as well as being able to change it. There are a number of additional connectors. You'll know that in Community Edition, you have the LinkedIn and Inside View connectors. Well, on top of those, Sugar Professional now brings in a lot more social interaction with connectors for Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Google, WebEx, GoToMeeting, Zoom Info, Hoovers, and of course the IBM Smart Cloud. This is therefore enhancing the social interaction that you're going to be able to, to look at and store within the CRM system and makes finding out what your customers are talking about in those social avenues a lot easier than having to keep go in and out of different browser windows to the relevant social media sites. The final additional elements that you're going to find within the professional edition is a complete project management module. If you're used to using software such as Microsoft Project, you are going to find the projects module in Sugar very, very simple to pick up and start using. In fact, you can actually export from Sugar Projects out into Microsoft Project format. So again, all those projects the Gantt charts, the tasks that you're assigning to contacts, to users within the CRM system, you're going to be able to share that product information out to any of your customers who are perhaps involved in those projects who are using Microsoft Project without having to give them access to your CRM system or worry about how am I going to get the data out in a format that they're going to be able to make sense of. We've also got mobile CRM capabilities with the professional edition. Professional Edition, as part of your license, you automatically get the ability to use the Sugar mobile app to access your Sugar data from your iPhone, from your Android. When it comes to things like Blackberries, depending on which version of Sugar you're on, up to version 6.5, there is a completely standalone app which you would use for Blackberries and the uh, iPhone, Android for offline access. So even if you haven't got a live 3G or data connection, you're still going to be able to access your sugar data. You're going to be able to remotely wipe those devices if they get lost or stolen. As standard out of the box, the iPhone and Android apps are going to be there with a live connection for your users to actually get into and start using the data even when they're out on the road. Professional Edition also includes calculated and dependent fields. Calculated fields, as the name suggests, allows you to take values from multiple fields within a particular record or within the system and add, manipulate, multiply, subtract, whatever you need to do with the calculations on that particular data to populate a further field with that resultant value. Dependent fields allow you to show or hide fields dependent on criteria set on the fields that they are dependent on. So for example, you may have a yes or no field within an account record that says, is this, uh, this particular account a customer, yes or no? If it's a yes, then we have additional fields that immediately then become visible. If it's not been set as a yes, they're simply not on the screen. They're therefore keeping the view a lot less cluttered. You're only seeing the information that you actually need to be using based on the selections and choices that you've made for those dependent fields. Sugar CRM, as well as having on the professional edition the uh, Outlook plugin to allow you to archive your emails directly from Outlook, uh, and that is for Windows only, unfortunately, there is no plugin at the moment for Outlook on Mac. Sugar have managed to, to work around that slightly by including an email archiving facility within the professional edition. Once enabled, this will give your company a unique email address specific to your Sugar instance, which any emails which you either blind copy in when you're sending out to your customers or that you forward emails to, 
the sugar system, when it receives that email, will look at either the address you sent it to, if it's an outgoing mail, or in the case of a forwarded email, it will look at the original email headers and see who originally sent it to you that you're forwarding. And if that email address matches in an account or contact within the Sugar CRM system, it will automatically archive that email into your CRM system. This means for those users who don't use Outlook, that perhaps use either uh, Mac machines, they're perhaps using mobile phones and using email clients on there, they're still able to archive emails into the CRM system without having to install any plugins or software onto those additional devices. Sugar CRM Professional also includes a knowledge base. This is an organic module. It's going to grow as the users populate it. And it's, if you like, a frequently asked questions module within the CRM system. It's going to be able to be searched both on keywords, on subjects of the actual articles that are in there, and can be moderated that only approved articles appear into the knowledge base. The knowledge base is typically used by support departments. Uh, who, when they're doing customer support, if a question is coming up time and time again, they can quickly go to the knowledge base, find out the answer that perhaps originally took the first person to answer it half an hour to find the answer, and within a matter of seconds, they're going to have that answer in front of them to pass to the customer and, again, make the company and that particular individual look far more efficient and utilize their time far more efficiently within the organization. Sugar Professional also allows you to edit the lead conversion screen. On Community Edition, when you convert a lead to a contact and account, there are predefined things in place that say this is the information that is going to be there that you're asked for when you convert a lead. With Professional Edition, you can edit that conversion screen to add or remove additional fields default fields that perhaps you're not wanting to use, any custom fields that you're wanting to bring into the lead conversion, you're going to give your users the chance to populate if they're not already filled in at the point of converting the lead. So with the Community Edition versus Professional, the main question that people tend to ask is when am I going to need to upgrade? What is, what is the right time to go professional? Well, it's mainly going to come down to the company requirements. If you've got a requirement for, for example, quoting within the system, doing forecasting and quotas, absolutely with Professional, you're going to be able to do that straight out of the box at no additional development cost. It's already there, it's already supported, and any future versions of Sugar are still going to work with that forecasting quote system that's in the system, as well as the product catalog. It could well be that the company has decided, well, we're starting to expand out a little bit more. We want something a little bit more robust. We're wanting to have the, the guarantee from a vendor that if anything goes wrong with the software you, we're using, that we can actually go back to the vendor themselves and take up those issues with the company who wrote the software, not have to worry about perhaps some open source community where, okay, people may have been using it for a while, but they haven't written the software themselves. They don't know how it's necessarily supposed to function fully from an inside out view. Therefore, by going to the professional or any of the commercial editions, you're getting that warranty, that support backing from Sugar CRM themselves. Depending on what your requirements are of a CRM system is going to depend which version of Sugar you're going to either start from and which version you are therefore going to end up at. It could well be that you start on, commercial, on Community Edition, decide that at a later edition you need to go professional, and that may be as far as your company ever needs to go. You may not need the additional functionality of the later versions. It could be that you start on Community and very quickly Realize that there is a need for the additional functionality for the security permissions that the Sugar and Commercial Editions, Professional and Hire give, that you're wanting to quickly move onto those commercial editions. And at that point, what we would recommend is that you either contact Sugar CRM themselves, you come to a, a hosting partner such as Enable IT Sugar UK, and discuss what your requirements are at that point, and we can help to guide you in the best direction for the particular version of Sugar that is going to meet your requirements. Hopefully you found today's session, the webinar, useful. If you have got any questions, as Evie said earlier on, the recording is going to be available after this webinar session. My contact details are on there on the first screens. 
We've got the Sugar UK website, the Sugar CRM websites are all available. And if you contact any of us, we'll all be very, very happy to talk to you and answer any questions you've got. So I'll now hand back over to Evie for the question and answers section. And thank you for your time for listening. Thank you very much, Mike. Um, this was this was really cool because I think we have so many customers here that are thinking, like, do I really need professional? And I think they have an answer now. Thanks for this. Um, we have one question here. So um, is an anonymous access to knowledge base allowed, for example, for self-service customer queries? Yeah, absolutely. The knowledge base can be used for self-service queries, not just customer support. So whatever questions your customers are asking you, you can store the responses in that knowledge base. You can categorize it so you would perhaps have a sales section, a support section, an ordering section, a, a product section. So any questions that come in, as long as within your organization someone knows what the answer, the response is to that question, they can create an article into the relevant part of that knowledge base, which is fully customizable. That then is available to all your users to go and search for that particular answer based on either the subject of it or keywords or content within the actual knowledge base article itself. Okay. Um, another question is, is there a quick reference table listing differences between uh, CE and Pro version? There is. Within the Sugar CRM website, um, there is a version comparison set. We've also got one on the sugaruk.co.uk website. There is a version comparison there, which will give all the different functionalities that are different between right the way through from Community Edition up to the Ultimate Edition. Okay, so and I think we have one question that is uh, nearly similar to the first one. And if how if I want to get a customer portal with Pro? Is it possible? Right. Out of the box, with Professional Edition, there isn't as such a customer portal available. The Sugar offerings from Sugar CRM, you would need to be looking at going up to the Enterprise Edition to get customer portal. However, at Enable IT Sugar UK, we have actually got a portal system which will work with any edition of Sugar. So if it is that you're wanting to stay on professional because you're not needing a lot of the other differences between professional and the enterprise, then it may be worthwhile possibly talking to us about our offering that we do for the portal as well. Okay. So uh, we have no more questions at the moment. Uh, I would say thank you to you, Mike. I would say thank you to our attendees. Um, and we're looking forward to the next webcast together with you guys from Enable IT. Uh, as I told you in the beginning, we have all webcasts available on our homepage, uh, sugarcrm.com slash webcast. You can find there all upcoming live webcasts and all on-demand webcasts, and this one will be there available as well within the next days. So, guys, uh, it was great to have you here, and see you soon. Bye.